everyone, this is Eleni at the South Houston Branch Library. Today's storytime selection is a title available in our Overdrive collection, Crafty Chloe by Kelly DiPuccio, illustrated by Heather Ross and published by Athenaeum Books for Young Readers, an imprint of Simon & Schuster. A special thank you to Simon & Schuster for permission to read this book. Crafty Chloe This is Chloe. Chloe isn't very good at sports. Video games were never her thing, and when she took dance lessons, she had the grace of a camel in roller skates. What Chloe is very good at is making stuff. She knows that a whole new outfit can be made out of Dad's old shirts, and that coffee filters make very good flower hats for show and tell, and that anything becomes less boring with googly eyes on it. Chloe's very good at making clothes, too. Her dog, Bert, pictured here, and here, and here, is very good at wearing them. One day, Chloe went shopping to look for a birthday present for her best friend, Emma. She looked at diaries and drumsticks, jewelry boxes and jump ropes, but nothing seemed just right. And then Chloe saw her. Violet. Of course, all Emma ever talked about was her flower girl dolls. She had all of them except the new girl, Violet. Chloe reached for the doll and felt a tap on her shoulder. She turned around and there was London. Her arms wrapped around Violet. If you're looking for a gift for Emma, she said extra sweetly, I already found the perfect present. Chloe's smile faded. She shrugged, pretending not to care. That's okay, because I'm going to make her something special that you can't even buy in a store. You're going to make her something? London cried in disbelief. She wrinkled up her nose as if Chloe had just announced she was going to give Emma a jar of pickles for her birthday. Chloe stood there feeling like a dried up glue stick. She didn't know what to say. It's going to be very purple, came out of her mouth. London made a snorty laugh. Well, good luck with that. That afternoon, Chloe stared hopelessly into her pile of craft supplies. A macaroni necklace? Nah. A coffee mug? Nope. A sock monkey? Definitely not. Nothing she thought of seemed more perfect than a violet doll. Chloe came down for dinner a few hours later covered in blue spots. She placed the get well card she had made for herself on the table. Chloe's father raised his eyebrows. Chloe's mother checked her for a fever. Chloe's baby brother spit out his green beans. And Bert, pictured here and here and here, made faces. Make all the faces you like, Chloe groaned. I have chicken pops and I can't go to the party tomorrow. What a shame, her mother said. Emma's such a good friend, and you'll miss the pony rides. The pony? Darn. Chloe had forgotten all about the pony, and Emma really was a good friend. Luckily for Chloe, her chicken pops were the washable kind. After dinner, Chloe went to her room to doodle. Doodling helps her think. Thinking gives her ideas. Some ideas are pretty spectacular and require lots of glitter. Chloe worked late into the night, gluing and painting and sewing. When she finished, she stood back and admired her work. She liked it, but would Emma?
The next day, Chloe walked to Emma's house, carrying a very big box. London clicked ahead of her in sparkly heels, swinging her gift bag. Click, click, trip! London fell. The gift bag flew and Violet flopped. Right into a puddle. Splash! London grabbed Violet. London's little dog grabbed Violet too. London roared. Drop it! The dress ripped and the dog ran. What am I going to do? London wailed. I can't give Emma a naked doll. More than all the googly eyes in the world, Chloe wanted to say, well, good luck with that. But instead, she lifted the lid on her box and she pulled out a perfectly purple dress. She can wear this. London reached for the dress. Did you really make this? She squealed. It's adorable. Chloe's eyes lit up like rhinestones. My grandma taught me how to sew, she said proudly. The girls dressed Violet in her new outfit. London peeked inside the box. Whoa, did you make that too? Chloe nodded again. Do you think Emma will like it? London smiled. I think she's going to love it. And she did. The end. Thank you for joining us for this reading of Crafty Chloe. You can find Crafty Chloe and its sequel, Crafty Chloe Dress Up Mess Up, on our Overdrive and on the Livy app. Visit hcpl.overdrive.com. A special thank you to Simon & Schuster for permission to read this book.